Welcome to Fort Worth, Texas. That's a look at the historic Cowtown Coliseum. For over 100 years, that building has played host to history, including the stars of today and the stars of tomorrow in the world yeah. of professional rodeo. I'm Steve Kenyon from the Cowboy Channel. This is a good friend, professional rodeo announcer, PRCA announcer of the year nominee this year, Anthony Lucia. Anthony, you and I both spend a lot of time in our lives talking to <laughs> ropers and riders. How many bull riders and bronc riders have you talked to through the years that got their start riding a sheep? When it comes down to it, mutton busting is one of those things that... Uh, Everybody always looks forward to at the rodeo, but mutton busting is where the foundation is laid for the future stars of pro rodeo. And Justin Boots, obviously they are the standard of the West for a reason. They just pour back into our sport time after time through the Justin Sports Medicine Program, the Justin Cowboy Crisis Fund, and so many other things, and mutton busting. Yeah. That's exactly what we're seeing. We're seeing them develop the future stars. All those smiles that you saw in that open, those were before the ride. But what you are going to see is a great group of youngsters, 24 different athletes. Yeah, I'll call them athletes because they are. They are the athletes at Pro Rodeo, the future stars. And for so many of these kids, it's their very first time to be competitive and able to be a part of professional rodeo, and that's big. So five weeks of mutton busting at the Cowtown Coliseum in Fort Worth. The Justin Cowtown Mutton Busting Championships. Eventually, you saw that great big hope trophy that little girl was holding yeah. up. Uh, somebody had the opportunity to walk away with that. Here's why this matters, folks. Number one, on the Cowboy Channel, if you're watching a rodeo, we televise a lot of mutton busting. You know why? Fans love it. Anthony and I both announce rodeos in addition to the other things we do in our lives, and I can tell you some of the loudest roars of the crowd we ever hear <laughs> are after a great sheep ride. Yeah, we can't always guarantee that we're going to see Stetson and Ryder go 90 or see Sage Kimsey do all these different things. But what you can guarantee is how much the fans are going to love to see some youngsters that just lay it all on the line, riding a sheep, hoping for the big points. Thanks to the Justin Boot Company as we bring you some action from the Cowtown Coliseum. Folks, this matters to the Justin Boot Company because the folks at Justin recognize the young people you are about to watch now might well be the next generation of Stetson Wright and company. As you take a look at them getting ready, I love the equipment. I love the helmets. I love the vests. I love the, the, the serious looks on their faces before they get started. Well, just like Justin Boots cares about how comfortable our feet are and how durable and, and user-friendly our boots are, they care about their kids' safety as well. And they're not going to do anything to jeopardize these youngsters as we get ready for the first cowboy to go. This is Asher. Asher is four years old. The sheep Asher is riding his name Bodacious. Yep, Whoa. I said it. What? Bodacious? Yeah. The, the sheep that took out Tough Hedeman when he was six years old. That's exactly right. 72 points on that ride for Asher and uh, <laughs> He's a little wobbly, tears but it's all right. Joy. Those were tears of joy. Yep, tears of joy. This is Cowgirl Skyler and a sheep named Sweater Maker. And we had a chance to hear from Skyler. What, is, what are you planning on doing tonight? What are, how are you going to stay on your sheep? I'm just going to hold on really, really tight. Has anyone given you that advice? Has anyone told you what to do? Nope. So you're just going in blind? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, all right, so let's see how she does going in blind. Uh, Fort Worth, Texas, so she's a hometown cowgirl. Skyler, let's go. The ear tag says 1601. Sweater maker puts her to the dirt. Yeah, 76 points. So that's what Skyler had to say before the ride. Here's what she had to say after. The, the technique of holding on tight really worked yeah, well for her. Exactly, it did. If we're being honest. She took the advice. <laughs> Skyler did okay, well, I'm 76 with points. Skyler here. Tell us a little bit about your boots. I noticed they were sparkling out in the arena. They don't really sparkle, they light up. <laughs> when I stomp really hard. Very good. Congratulations, Skyler. I love it. Why have we not ordered those? I, I think you would look great Why? in those. You just got to stomp your feet so and you glitter. Yep, there it is. All right, this is Blaze. Blaze is seven years old. Years no, I, go. I look up to Jamie Moody because he stays on and doesn't let go. And he's a good bull rider and he turns his hips. 
Yeah, he's got the science down. Yeah, I mean, he turns his hips. I don't know if that's exactly the technique that you want in mutton busting, but obviously Blaze Peterson's got a big hero in J.B. Mooney. Makes a great ride, 79 points. And uh, Blaze has not only got the sheep riding down, but his mullet is on point. Oh, yeah. You want to talk about party in the front or, or business in the front, party in the back. Blaze had it all going on right there. All right, Ethan let's meet Ethan Lee. Lee. Ethan is three years old, Anthony. And that's a direct representation of how we will sound the 10th round of the NFR after it's all said and done. <laughs> after it's all said and in done. In those same tears, yes, Sunday morning when you leave Las Vegas, that's what it feels like as well. 75 points for Ethan Lee on bad kid, but Ethan is a great kid. So nice job, Ethan. You take a look at it one more time right there. He did not hold on tight. He did not Somebody hold on tight. Somebody gave him some horrible advice and said, just sit there and think you can. He needed the same advice Skyler got. All right, let's talk about Ryder White. Mary's little lamb. This is a five-year-old. I'm Ryder, and I'm five years old. On the sheep jump, I'm going to hold on really tight. So I'm noticing a theme. Yeah. Hold on tight. And uh, Mary's little lamb. Oh, my gosh. Mary's little lamb is not as white as snow. Just put a pounding on little... The rider. That's all right, because you know why? 80 points. This is the highest score we've seen so far. It is. I mean, even after the ride, he did hold on. The sheep was actually kind of kind of bucking a little bit, which was yeah. actually impressive. Yeah. So that's the way it works. Folks, if you've ever had a chance to be behind the scenes, Anthony and I have, see what happens behind the scenes. There's always a moment of trepidation. The kids yeah. are like, wait, I, I thought I was just going to pet the sheep. Uh, <laughs> and I have to ride the sheep? Uh, but... At the, at the moment that they get done, some yeah. of those big smiles, yeah. they're worth a million bucks. Well, and even if there's tears after it's done, just for a moment, once they realize what they were able to accomplish and what they're able to do in front of so many different fans and the supportive yeah. people and the riders come down and help, that's what makes it special. I still love the video of, of Skylar and her boots, and, you know, she stomps them and they She's light up. your feet. Thank you to the Justin Boot Company for designing those. Thank you to the Justin Boot Company for making this all happy. With Anthony Lucia, I'm Steve Kenyon. We are telling you about the Justin 2022 Cowtown Mutton Busting Championships. We got more coming up here on the Cowboy Channel. We are in the Cowboy Channel's Justin Studios. Justin, the standard of the West since 1879. I'm Steve Kenyon along with Anthony Lucia highlighting the Justin 2022 Mutton Busting Championships. Five weeks, a group of kids I'll never forget. Yeah, it's been so fun to watch thus far, but the first section, that was just one thing, but we got to watch a young man named Ryder Wright compete. And, uh, Ryder I, White. Ryder White, exactly, yeah. Ryder White. And I've seen the Facebook post by his dad, who we're going to meet here in just a second. But this kid's in the MMA, he's a wrestler, and now he's a sheep rider and he's got an early lead. Let's check out this interview. So Ryder just started riding sheep, you know, this year, you know, uh, we kind of introduced him to it when he was four, but he didn't really take to it. And when he turned five, he kind of started getting interested in riding bulls. Cause I, used to, I grew up riding bulls. And uh, he watches the Netflix series Fearless a lot on TV and bounces around the house on a bouncy bull all the time. In his free time, we do a bunch of other sports, and the only thing he can talk about is riding bulls and riding sheep. So anyway, we spend a lot of time on the bouncy bull. And we've got a buck and barrel off the house, and, and he gets on that as well. You know, the mutton mustard is really, really good for kiddos because at first it gets them involved into the environment. You know, it gets them used to being out in the rodeo arena, used to the sounds and the lights and also gets them acclimated to, to riding an animal during, during a competitive event. Uh, you know, it's an intimidating thing for a kid to walk out there into the arena to hear the music playing and the announcer talking and the, and the crowd roaring. So it just kind of gets them going into that rhythm and then so that once they get a little older, they can get out there and it doesn't phase them. But, you know, I grew up rodeoing and it's a great family sport, family oriented environment and rider gets to carry on that tradition as long as he wants to. If he doesn't end up being a bull rider, I'm fine with that too. Hopefully he'll be a, a fan or attendee or sponsor maybe. Right there, give me five. Five. Ryder White's dad, Cal White. Folks know him, Anthony. You've yeah. known him for a long time from the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo. Yeah, the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo has been a huge part of me growing in the rodeo business as it is for Ryder as we get ready for Hannah Peterson, age six years old. I'm really excited to ride 
ride a sheep tonight. Well, let's see if it goes really, really fast. This sheep's name is the Moody Hughes. I thought, okay, the old rock group from the 60s, <laughs> you thought the Buck and Bull from the 90s. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And, I mean, I could see a little bit of semblance of both, the long hair band, the big hair band, and the moves of Moody Blue. 75 points, pretty good job for Hannah Peterson. But uh, I'm not sure she's going to stick with it. Well, let's watch it right here. The sheep it tried to go really fast. She said she wanted that. She did want it. And then it got stuck in reverse. I'm not sure she wanted that part right there. Uh, so you heard Hannah beforehand. Let's see what Hannah has to say after it was all said and done. Funny sheep was scary. No. <laughs> ah, from time to time. Well, if nothing else, we give them an opportunity to make life decisions early in the mutton busting. Yeah, my exactly. My name's Grixon, I'm seven years old, and I'm from California. I think riding uh, sheep's going to be like being uh, riding a horse but smaller. I'm just gonna say, this kid's already got it figured out. Holy cow, that's not a kid, that's a tiny little man. Yeah, you're really He drove is. himself from California to Fort Worth to compete in Brixton, is doing it on Miranda. Lambert, you had to make <laughs> me say that, didn't you? Uh, 76 points, I mean, watch the replay on this. He was he was as much bulldogging as he was riding the sheep. Uh, right here, look at him. He's, he's about ready to throw his feet in the ground and go to the nose. Listen, I watched Whiplash the Cowboy Monkey ride like that for years. There is nothing wrong with that technique. Yeah, I, if it worked for Whiplash, <laughs> we'll let it work for Brixton. Okay, so next up, Remington Martin, Springtown, Texas. Sheep called Bo Peeps Revenge. Yeah, I'm reading, I'm six years old. I look up to my dad because I love him. He's serious. Yeah, that's something that we often overlook in mutton busting is the actual camaraderie and the relationship of getting to do something as a kid with your family there, your dad there, your mom, your brothers, your sisters, whoever's there supporting you. That's huge, and that does so much to help these kids and just gain their confidence. And as we just watched Remington go 78 points, a great ride. I think it had to do with the Shaps. He was on both sides of the sheep, and that was just, I mean, that was picture perfect. If you look up in the dictionary, mutton busting, yeah. that's what you're going to see. I, I was going to say maybe it had something to do with whoever sheared the sheep that was a big <laughs> fan of the Lion King. No, no, no. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> It's the shearing of the sheep. It's all in the shearing of the sheep. That's it. That's it. All right. So 78 points for Remington was the uh, high score in that group you just watched. We've seen uh, eight. We've got some more to show you. We're taking you through five weeks of mutton busting. The Justin 2022 Cowtown Mutton Busting Championships. That's Anthony Lucia. I'm Steve Kenyon. We'll be right back. Come on, girls. Hi, I'm Stoney Johnson. I own Stoney's Rodeo Riding Sheep. I have sheep that I bring to all youth rodeos, you know, for kids to get on, whether it's riding with a rope or you want to ride laying down. It all got started with my kid Hayden when he was little. Well, so he goes, Dad, I want to try it. So I go get three or four sheep. And from then on, somebody goes, you got some sheep? And I said, well, yes, sir, I have a few. Can you bring them to the rodeo? And then somehow from that point on, it has grown to, uh, I've been through thousands of sheep. For mutton busting sheep, you know, you have to get out and look and you want them big and stout and you do want them fast. I mean, you want a few slow ones because not every kid can ride the same. You know, you're out there to make the kid enjoy it. You're not out there to be a dream killer. You know, you don't want to be known as the guy that bursted this person's bubble. So you want, you know, kind of an average sheep, but you want them big and stout where well, they'll hold that kid. My sheep usually average anywhere from 165 all the way up to about 220. I try to keep them around that 185 markers where I really would like them. You know, I was at Mineral Wells, PRCA Rodeo, and I'm back there, and Sage Kenzie and his brother, they're back there. And, you know, I'm jacking with Boudreaux. And Boudreaux, uh, he goes, Stoney, he goes, I remember I used to get on your sheep. 
And you know, you never realize just how old you are till you look behind them bucking shoots and you go, I remember that kid, that kid. I mean, it's kind of neat though, you know, just to have them joke with you still. Through these series, you know, I've seen some kids really try hard and give it all they got. And I'm gonna bet you, I see that one or two of them will be at the top. We're highlighting the 2022 Justin Cowtown Mutton Busting Championships. Thank you to the Justin Boot Company. You know, we talk about the stars of tomorrow yeah. getting on a sheep today. Yeah. All right, I just want you to take you back, I don't know, maybe 15, 16 years ago, say it's 2005, you're at a little rodeo someplace in Utah, and you see some kid named Stetson Wright get on a sheep. Yeah, I mean, that's, I don't know if that ever happened. I, I don't know I either, but. They probably rode too good, and there was some sort of a vote that said if the rights were entered, there was no mutton bus. They just went straight to the bronc yeah, riding. Yeah, they just said, load, yeah. them, load up another horse or a bull. <laughs> That's what they did. There was no sheep involved. Those kids were literally born on the back of a bucking horse. Yeah, good point. First. Good point. I, I agree with you totally. Uh, let's take a look at some of the action from the Cowtown Coliseum. I'm going to tell you the theme of this segment you're about to watch, folks. Kids say the darndest things. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Klein. I'm six years old. I've been watching rodeos every single day. I've been watching at not at this place, only at a different place at Texas Wild. Uh, I, I, I like rodeos because rodeos are fun to watch. See, I told you, kids say the darndest things. I love him. Yeah. I love him. What a cool... Oh, wow. wow. So much like my... Much, much like my career. <laughs> ended pretty quick. 70 points. Let's see what he had to say after it was all From over. Last time, last time was... It was a sad one. I, I had to cry. And, and my mom helped me out. And she said, do you want some, some stuff went over there? And I said, I would like those candies, whatever they called. I don't know that word. So that's Clyde. Let's take a look at a three-year-old Leo in the mutton busting. Did, it, did the wolf attach to it? Pull it over. Then the bull backs out. Leo Peralta on a sheep called U-Turn. Yeah, the most overused sheep name yeah. in the history of sheep riding, mutton busting. 72 points for Leo at three years old. I mean, that's pretty stout. That's pretty stout. He did a good job at the age of my, three. My full name is Dominic Anthony Arena, and my I'm seven years old. It's... It's different because bulls go really fast and they jump. But sheep just run around. But if sheep jump, it takes a lot of weight. And sheep literally, literally jump so, so like, they go like, boop, and hit the ground immediately. They hit the ground. You know, you got to go a long ways to get that kind of in-depth analysis. You really do. I mean, I don't know if any of the interviews after the round wins that this year's NFR are going to be of the same type of description, but I hope they do. Yeah. Um, how was Get Smart tonight? Well, Get Smart went boop, and there we went. Uh, so let's take a look at Dominic Arena. What a great name for a kid at a rodeo. 77 points on this ride, Anthony. Sheep trick really brought out all the tricks. There was nothing sheepish about those tricks. Those were real deal bull moves that a sheep actually embodied. And I mean, you watch this, the mane flapping in the kid's face. I mean, blinding, and that's the first key in a fight. You blind the person first. That's what that sheep did. Well, it worked. He was 77 points. So let's meet Fletcher Adams, seven years old. Hi, I'm Fletcher, and I'm seven years old. It's not really any advice to ride a sheep. I do is just hold on and don't let go. It looks like a Major League Baseball really player does. with his haircut and that sweet hat he had on. Yeah. And there's no advice. He just said, you just hold on. Don't let go. Oh, sheep escaping. Oh, my gosh. My dad was alive right now. <laughs> my word, he'd be losing his mind. Here we go, Fletcher. Let's go. And a backflip at the end. I mean to tell you, this was, this was a sweet move at the tail end of this thing. Look at that. 81 points for the ride, despite the sheep, the sheep getting out before it started. Troubadour. He is the troubadour himself. The distractions were no match for Fletcher Adams. Seven years old. Lands gracefully, kind of. 
does a backflip and gets up smiling. I mean, no wonder he was 81. Okay, he did really well in the National Football League. They're hauling him off to the blue tent right now. <laughs> so there's Tom Feller from the Justin Boot Company, and that is a young lady named Eliana, who is five years old. Eliana Kidwell from Fort Worth, Texas getting ready to climb on the back of this sheep. By the way, thank you to Tom and the entire Justin Boot Company for their support. Tom was in the arena this entire group of five weeks. I mean, when you think about the Justin Boot Company and what they want from this event, oh no, Sh three sheeps to the wind and she's gonna wish she had that one back. So let's hear what she had to say. Hi everyone, it's me, Sophia, back again with Eliana Adelicia. This little youngster was also one of our riders tonight on Mutton Bustin. Were you very excited tonight for doing it? Yes. Um, I fell down on the sheep and I didn't know, and then I was too scared on the sheep. <laughs> All right. And have you ever Mutton Bustin before? You have. But I never, but I never ride a sheep, but I never seen a sheep, but I didn't know a long time. I seen it, that horse and that cow. Okay, that's really neat. Did you have fun tonight? Yes. All right. Well, thank you all very much. And we're going to throw it back to Justin Studios, everyone. We're going to the Cowtown Coliseum and one of the Friday, Saturday night rodeos that happens every week in Cowtown. That young lady, Sophia, yeah. she will greet you musically. And not only is she probably going to become a Cowboy Channel anchor someday. <laughs> yes. She's got a beautiful singing voice. Oh, she's absolutely mind-blowing what she can do. And now she, after that interview, she knows what it's like to be a Janie or an Amy interviewing some of these athletes yeah. in a professional rodeo. Yeah. So right now, an 81 is the top score out of all the rides that we have watched. And uh, we'll see if that holds for Fletcher Adams. We are taking you through the Justin 2022 Cowtown Mutton Busting Championship. I'm having fun with this. This is so much fun. And, and we're just we're just getting started. We have so many more interviews, so many more sheep to ride when we come back. From the Cowboy Channel's Justin Studios in the historic Fort Worth Stockyards, right next door to the Caltown Coliseum, obviously, where all of this uh, mutton-busting fun you've been watching has been happening. Along with Anthony Lucia, I'm Steve Kenyon. Uh, the Justin 2022 Caltown Mutton Busting Championship. All right, Anthony. Yeah. So we're halfway through our show. We are. We've had a chance to watch a bunch of three to five, six, seven-year-old kids <laughs> ride sheep. Uh, the theme of this segment coming up is... What did you want to be when you grew up? You grew up in a family deeply, deeply in, involved in the rodeo business. Yeah, I had a brother that turned out to be a doctor. The rest of my family's been in rodeo in some way, form or fashion. But when my dad or when anybody would ask me what I wanted to be as a kid, obviously I didn't know. But I had an idea. I wanted to be a cowboy. I knew I wasn't physically or athletically built to be a saddle bronc rider or a bull rider or anything that tried to throw me off. So I had to pick a different direction, and I chose ropes and a microphone. Well, and it worked. <laughs> Apparently so it worked. Yeah, so far, so but good. But I'm thinking about cracking out. I don't know. You got the form. I felt like I did. I felt, I felt confident about I that. I saw the technique there. Okay, let's go. Okay. <laughs> so we are doing that because the theme of this segment just happens to be, what do you want to be when you grow up? And we had a chance to catch up with some of our mutton busters and get the answer to that question. When I grow up, I want to be a cowboy cowboy. Because uh, uh, cause of they, they catch a horse. A uh, dancer, you know, since I'm in ballet class. I want to be a baker when I grow up. When I grow up, I really want to be a police officer. Police officer. Police officer. It's because literally there's so many bad guys in this world and I literally don't want them stealing my mo mom and dad's money at all. Bro, if they tried to take over our building, oh, they're never going to open their eyes again. I'm going to be a police officer because police officers help people and they they love people and they, and they, they attack people from utter danger. When I grow up, I want to be a cowboy. When I grow up, I want to be a welder. That's just what I want to do. When I grow up, I want to be a bull rider. Hi, I'm Hannah, and I want to be a cowgirl when I grow up. When I grow up, I want to be a bull rider. When I grow up, I want to be a firefighter. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a bull rider. When I grow up, I want to be a cowgirl. 
why do you want to be a firefighter? So I can put out fire. I'm gonna have two jobs, and I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have. My job is gonna be BMX wedding and and bull wedding and my son be stick wedding. When I grow up, I want to be a big hunter. Well, you just get a gun, you put a bullet in, you just shoot something, then you eat it. Oh, I love it. Uh, you know, we don't need to say anything about that. After I love all those kids talking about police I'm with officers. Cal and those Josie, Josie, Let's will hear you an introduce interview. yourself to us? Uh, hi, I'm Josie, and I'm eight years old. Josie, have you ever ridden a sheep before? No. This is my first rodeo, and I'm going to ride sheep. Talk about courage. You're such a courageous cowgirl. I wish you the best of luck tonight, and I know you're going to do so good. Good luck, Josie. Thank you. Okay, so this would be a really good name for a bucking horse here. This sheep's (laughs) name is Full Baggage. (laughs) Sounds like sometimes how we announce when we stutter a little bit through our words. Just a lot. We never stutter. Anthony, what are you talking about? Right. Uh, This is Josie, age 7, from Fort Worth. That was a 75-point ride. First time she gets to come to rodeo, she gets to be a competitor. That's huge. 75 points for young Josie. So that was Josie. Let's watch Josie on the replay right here. And uh, there you see the technique. There you see the landing. And I think we get a chance to hear from Josie. What all was going through your head But as you were getting on the sheep? Were you thinking about anything? Uh, I was like, in my head, I was like, dad, 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 no, 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 no. Huh? But then you rode and ended up having a blast. Do you think you're going to do this again? Yes. Congratulations, Josie. You were so tough. Tonight, you did awesome. Thank you. Okay, the next two coming up, brother and sister. Five-year-old Brooklyn Lewis is climbing on. Oh, really? You, Jackman? That's the name of that sheep? I mean, you can't go wrong with it. Let's be honest. Yeah, you can. My name is Brooklyn. My favorite The noisy music, which it, which, which I couldn't understand. I'm gonna ride the best sheep ever. Uh, yeah. That's a big sheep. That's a big sheep, and that's an adorable little human. Here we go, Brooklyn Lewis, five years old. Just half of the twin equation. You alluded that they are brother and sister, our next competitor, and young Brooklyn. But 72 points rewarded for her efforts, and yep. she gets a cool trophy. Here Hi, she is with Sophia. Again, this is Brooklyn Lewis, one of our other female riders tonight. Were you really excited for this? Yeah. You were? Can you tell us our fa- your favorite part of tonight's rodeo so far? Um, riding the lamb. You had fun riding the lamb? Do you have anyone at home you would like to say anything to? Uh, there is no one at home. All right, well, and that's a wrap on that. That was a really good Christmas movie. Once upon a time, wasn't it? The, you know, the the facial expression. Home alone. Yeah, well, there's home alone. no one at home. Yeah, there totally it is. Only different movie. Yeah. Okay, Lady Bob. Bob. This is Levi Lewis, who is five years old. Anthony mentioned twins. Uh, Levi and Brooklyn, you just watched. Let's see how Levi does. Okay, so the thing is, in the sibling rivalry, yeah, Sophia won. She did. Did she? No. No, she was 72. Excuse me, Brooklyn won. Brooklyn was 72. Levi was 73. Levi won. There you go. Make sure we get our facts right. There you go. Because no one's home. Yeah. In more ways than one. Yeah. (laughs) So Levi was 73. Brooklyn was 72. And here's Levi. My name's Sophia, and I'm back with Brooklyn's little twin. This is Levi Lewis, everybody. Can you sing? I heard really good things about it. I don't like singing. You like singing? Could you sing us something? I I actually said I did not like singing. Oh. All my exes live in Texas. This is the place. I really love to be. <laughs> That's awesome. That was good. Like I thought you did like it. Oh, well. 
Are you excited about tonight's riding? But first, when I try it, I was a little scared, but then I it, And I got a lot of mud on my helmet. I can tell there's still a little mud on your face. Well, you did really good tonight, Levi. And thank you all very much. And now we'll back to Justin Studios. Thank you to Sophia. Thank you to Levi for the George Strait impersonation. I mean, you know his parents are doing a great job when your little kid at five years old is singing George Strait. Yeah, that's that's as good as it gets. So Levi was 73 and Brooklyn was 72 and Josie was 75. Now, we've got a couple more opportunities to watch Mutton Busters, and then we're eventually going to tell you about the champion of the Cowtown Mutton Busting Championship for 2022, brought to you by the Justin Beard Company. In the last segment, Anthony, we got a chance to learn about what the kids want to do when they grow up. Yeah. Coming up in the next segment, we get to learn a little bit about their unique talents. Oh, man, it's going to be good. We are one sheep closer. One sheep closer to crowning a champion of the 2022 Justin Boots Mutton Busting Championships here in downtown Cowtown at the historic Cowtown Coliseum. Steve Kenyon, this is going to be a wild ride to the finish. You do not want to leave, folks, because coming up, two more segments, we'll find out who the champion is. Coming up, we're going to find out about some dance moves, unique dance moves. Thanks for joining us here on the Cowboy Channel. You're watching the Justin 2022 Cowtown Mutton Busting Championships with Anthony Lucia and Steve Kenyon. <laughs> Anthony, the kids that we've had a chance to watch ride sheep yeah. have a variety of talents. These yeah. are multi-talented young people. They really do. I feel like uh, rodeo in general, after watching and listening to these mutton busters, is in really good hands. And I also think that the celebrations are in good hands. Let's check this out. <laughs> Been there. I've done that. <laughs> yep. All right. Here we go. Here we this go. is this Lillian. Is Lillian. She's, She's four years four old. Years old. This is bad head to the bone. I love green horses, but I just like pink now. I want a pink horse. Yeah. So, so I can match my pink boots. Stylish. You got to be stylish, whether it's your boots or your horse. Color coordinating is key. Yeah. So let's see. Lillian, four years old, bad to the bone. Uh, she is uh, wanting a pink horse. Let's see how she does on the white sheep. Not that great, Steve. Not exactly. I'm not thinking <laughs> at this moment in her life she really would trade in the sheep. She for is the pink uh, horse. reconsidering her life. Hi, everyone. Yes. It's me, Sophia, back again. And this is little Lillian. She was one of our riders. And uh, how did you feel about tonight's ride? Great. You felt good about it? Were you really excited to do this? Were you pretty nervous whenever the lamb got a little rough at the beginning? You were? Yeah, I feel better with my head. <laughs> you hit your head? My head. Well, that's very good to hear. I'm glad you had fun tonight. Are you ready for the rest of the rodeo? All right. I'm 
starting to think Sophia maybe had the most fun job of the whole bunch. I, I really believe that. But you know what the difference between boogers and broccoli are for kids? Uh, I may have heard this joke once or twice. <laughs> you can get kids deep boogers. All right, <laughs> let's go. Wyatt Palmer, age number seven, Willow Park, Texas, on another amazing sheep. Sheep tamer. Hey, Look at that. Got a great ride going right there. You know, that was a half a trick ride. There's a trick riding move where you go under the neck, come up on the other side. Uh, but uh, 78 points right here on this ride for Wyatt. Nice job, Wyatt uh, Palmer from Willow Park, Texas. And a hard-earned 78-point yeah. ride as well. My goodness. Rides him to the past the 50-yard line. That's, that's a heck of a performance by Wyatt. All of these rides you're watching are at the Cowtown Coliseum here in Fort Worth. And uh, let's get ready for Sawyer next. Sawyer is four years old. Speaking of your joke earlier, <laughs> the sheep's name actually is... Wooly Booger. I think to order the win, you have to ride really hard. Good job, Sawyer. I agree. Good luck this tonight. Uh, you'll notice a change in technique here, Anthony. There's a new trend in the mutton busting industry. I'm not sure how new it is. Uh, but uh, several mutton busters have decided to try this get on backwards thing. And everybody who has encouraged this, I think they should ride a bull backwards because this is not. This, I mean, did that go well? No. I don't think it did. I was 76 points, but, <laughs> you know, a wise you man once said they made the windshield bigger than the rearview mirror for a reason. I, I couldn't agree more. Could not agree more. I mean, at least at least he would know what was coming there. He did. He thought he was at the end of the arena, and bam. Yeah, oh, well, there he in is. In the face. In the face. That was so fun. I want to do it again. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to trophy. And, Sawyer, I understand you're from a long ways away. Where are you from? Florida. I drove all the way here to ride seat. And we are so proud of you. You did so good. Congratulations. Thank you. That's Sawyer, who's four years old, by the way, from Florida, and uh, made a 76-point ride backwards. Yeah, he did it backwards, and I guess from Florida to Fort Worth. Maybe his car seat was backwards, and so he felt like the best way to ride the sheep would be backwards. Either way, I'm not real certain about that technique. I think probably the analysis has gone as far as it can go at this but point. But again, very minimal sheep riding experience. <laughs> again, my dad wouldn't let me ride a sheep. He would let me sort sheep, wrestle sheep, and uh, feed the sheep. But never, I never got to ride one. Well, uh, you're a trick roper, you're a team roper, and uh, you've got enough experience. I think it's okay. Okay. I'll, I mean, I'll still offer my analysis if you want it. Well, there you go. We're going to offer your analysis of our champion coming up. Yes, in the next section, we will tell you who the Justin 2022 Cowtown Mutton Busting Champion is going to be. That's coming up. Thank you for joining us. We're having fun on the Cowboy Channel. Thank you for joining us on behalf of the Justin Boot Company for the Justin 2022 Cowtown Mutton Busting Championships. Anthony Lucia, in this segment, we get to crown a champion. Yeah, it's so exciting. It's been so exciting this entire night. When you think about the experience that these youngsters have, have been able to have, not only riding in front of thousands of people, not only going through the, the, the rigors and going through the preparation that actually riding the sheep, but then also getting interviewed. It's been really neat to see their personality shine. And also now with the Cowboy Channel and all the TV coverage and the media coverage of professional rodeo, this is a great trait to learn at an early age. Well, and remember, before we go to our last bunch of, of mutton busters, remember this is all happening at the Cowtown Coliseum, the nightly rodeo, the weekly rodeo, yeah. not nightly, weekly rodeo at Cowtown Fridays and Saturday nights, almost every weekend of the year. A lot of the folks that go to that rodeo are attending a rodeo for the very first time. So they get a chance to get all excited about these kids watching the kids compete, maybe for the very first time. Yeah, and there's so many kids that this is their first opportunity to get to compete in a rodeo. And a lot of kids, they don't necessarily have horses or live on a ranch or live yeah. around rodeo, but they get to be a mutton buster. Yeah, so let's see what happens. We get to go back to the action right now. Uh, the first young man is five years old. He is from Fort Worth, Texas. He's on a sheep called Inflammable. Ford H. Ford H.'s full name, folks, is Ford Harrison. May the force be with him. <laughs> the Millennium Falcon yeah. can't handle. I'm really to ride a sheep tonight. Have you ever ridden sheep before? I ride. I ride. I ride. No. You. I ride a cow, but not a sheep. What do you think is the difference between riding a cow and a sheep? 
One is fluffy and one is kind of lined fur. Do you hang on to them differently? Yeah. Show me how you would hang on to a cow. I would hang on to it like this. And then how would you hang on to a sheep? Okay, well, Ford, it's been fun talking with you tonight. Good luck tonight. Bye. Bye, Ford. Go get him. His hanging on to a cow looked a lot like a motorcycle. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I trust any of his techniques at this point, but we will see. Time will always tell if this young man or any of the competitors is going to be able to withstand the sheer force of the sheep. And my wow. goodness. Just like getting out of the Temple of Doom right there. Okay, I'll stop. Uh, Ford Harrison was 77 <laughs> points. So, nice ride. And the get-off had its own special flair. It did indeed. Inflammable put him into the dirt in a pile of ashes. Yeah, there it is. All right. Tommy Fair and his sheep called Fleece Machine. Tommy is from Everman, Texas. He is five years old. And, uh, oh, what a nice sheep. Yeah. What a nice sheep. Just kind of walk. I want to invite that sheep over for Thanksgiving. There you go. I just That's set him down right really there. really did. Yeah, look at it right here. Watch the way he kind of goes around the neck, up underneath. And the sheep just, you can get off here. You can get off Let now. go. Let go, little kid. Let go. I said let go. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that look before. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> okay. I, sounds like sounds like Let's something I don't go. need to know about. Let's go. Kinsley Garrett, six years old, on lamb chops, which sheep do not like this name one bit. Well, and that might be the second most overused name of mutton-busting <laughs> animals in the country. Oh, my goodness, look at that. 70 points is the score for Kingsley. Kingsley is six years old, and uh, lamb chops kind of got off to a little bit of a uh, an aggressive start there. There is so much pressure on these kids. When you have thousands of cheering fans... And then you've got all these people, some of them family, some of them strangers, saying, hold on tight. And then she lurches out of there. It's just, it's so neat to watch what Justin Boots is doing. So now you see the uh, in-house rodeo clown. His name is Kevin, by the way. Uh, he's been a part of the Cowtown Coliseum for a long time. And we're going to a five-year-old from Arlington, Texas, the home of the Dallas Cowboys. We're going to try the backwards thing again here. This is Bradley. And it also went equally as bad as I expected it to. And he hurt his right arm. He doesn't know where it hurts. It, 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 just, hurts. it just, it hurts. So he'll, he'll get over it. Watch this. Um, I, he should have got a re-ride. That's cheap stumbled coming out of it. I'm going to be honest. After watching that replay, it doesn't look like his arm should be hurting. No, it really doesn't. <laughs> uh, but something was, was not feeling right. So Bradley got a 70-point score. And this brings us to... Kendall Nixon, who is six years old from Willard, Missouri, and a little sheep called Ram Tuck for Kendall. And this is, by the way, the very last of the Mutton Busters with a chance to win the whole title. The 24th Mutton Rider out of 24, and will her score be enough? She even threw in the backflip like we saw earlier in the night that bowed, it actually helped the score. Uh, 75 points. So 75 is the score for uh, Kendall Nixon right here. And uh, yeah, the backflip was not maybe totally executed the way it was earlier. The champion, as they hand out the trophies, here's the thing I love about mutton busting Anthony, so often the trophies they give are like twice as big as a kid's. Yes, yes. And every single one of these kids, just for simply nodding their heads, just for simply riding a sheep, they received a trophy from Justin Boots. And there you see on in all of their protective gear. But like you said, the giant trophy that everybody wanted, it can only go to one young competitor. It was the Alato Accent a a a Texas Cowboy right there. You see Fletcher Adams with a score of 81 points out of five weeks of mutton busting. Fletcher Adams walks away with the big trophy from the Justin Boot Company. Yeah, and you watch this replay of Fletcher's ride, and it was executed perfectly. Kind of offsets his weight, puts all of his weight on his left leg, but still stays strong with the right leg. Rides him to the bitter end. He drags a few feet, but then he squares up again, executes the back, the back flip, whatever you want to call it, in a beautiful way, and that's why he's got the bigger trophy than anybody else. Here's Fletcher. Let's hey, see what he had to Fletcher, say. Fletcher, what does it feel like to be a mutton-busting champion? It feels really good, and I knew I was going to win because I said it earlier, and I did. I beat my friend. It feels really good to be a mutton-busting champion because... Um, this is my biggest trophy I've ever gotten before. How thankful are you for the trophy? Really thankful. What did you have to do to win this title and trophy? Um, I had to hold it on really tight. 
So, sounds like you have a really big support system here. Tell us about all the family that's here cheering you on and how thankful you are that they're here. I'm so thankful my family's here cheering me on, all my siblings and my aunt. I feel um, very loved that my family came here. Um, my dad let me uh, do it and win this trophy. And I think your dad uh, is cheering you on every step of the way. What's your and your dad relationship like? What do you guys like to do besides mutton busting? Um, we like to do a lot of baseball. Do you think playing baseball helped you win this championship, just being athletic and ready? Yeah, maybe. It might have helped me with my arms because we do a lot of throwing and move my legs around. So it probably helped them to grow and then I have bigger arms and bigger legs. And now that you've won the championship title, what's your next goal? Where do you, what do you want to do next? My next goal is to win calf riding. And this is the mutton bushing trophy I won. Way to go, Fletcher. <laughs> 81 points, he wins that great big tall trophy. You know, there's so many different fun things we can, you know, we've, we've yeah. joked around a lot during yeah. this. Here's the thing I love about that. Thank you to the Cowtown Coliseum, Clayton Cullen, uh, the entire crew there. That was Clayton's voice you heard in the background, the in-house announcer. Um, but you take a look at a kid like Fletcher right there. He gets that big trophy from the Justin Boot Company, and he gets to talk about all the things he gets to do with his dad. Yeah. That's part of the fun. In, and, and you know it growing up in the rodeo business as well as anybody. That's part of the fun of this industry, yeah. growing up with your family. It's a family event, plain and simple. Well, any Anywhere you're at in rodeo and whatever you're doing, whether you're coming off the streets and going to your first rodeo and you get to ride in the mutton busting, you get to, the whole opportunity is there. And to experience it with your family is something that can never be replaced. And, and I mean, I would encourage, obviously, any parent. I'm not a parent yet, but some of my fondest memories with my dad, Tommy Lucia, was traveling around the country, going to all the rodeos, because it was an absolute dream come true to be able to see my heroes and to walk on the same dirt and compete on the same yeah. dirt. It's pretty special. Yeah. So I don't know how we topped this, Anthony. I really don't. Well, I really thought Fletcher was going to say, I'm going to Disney World. Ah, that could have been. Yeah, it might have been the next <laughs> thing. Uh, thank you to the Justin Boot Company, Tom Feller, and the entire crew. We so very much appreciate them giving us the opportunity. Good to see you. Thank you, Steve. Anthony Lucia, I'm Steve Kenyon. We're in the Cowboy Channel's Justin Studios in Fort Worth, Texas. Congratulations, Fletcher Adams, our Justin 2022 Cowtown Button Busting Champion. We're glad we were able to share it with you here on the Cowboy Channel.